is Miss Kalman. Are you ready for math today? We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna talk today about making shapes into equal parts. In fact, we're gonna look at one shape in particular. We're gonna look at rectangles. Now, earlier this week, you've been talking about if a shape has equal or unequal parts. And we've learned a lot about how in the math world, we want things to be fair. It's not fair if one part of the shape has way more than the other part. So we're gonna make sure we have some equal parts today. I'm gonna start by using my geo board to make a rectangle. And now I know from what we've learned about shapes that rectangles have four sides and four vertices or four corners. All right, I have my whole rectangle and now I'm gonna take the whole shape and I'm going to partition it or separate it into two parts. So I'm gonna make sure that as I'm placing my rubber band that I have two equal parts. All right, look what I did. I put my rubber band in the middle and now I have two equal shapes. Do you see what those shapes are? They're squares. Now I know a square has equal size. Do you see how all the sides are the same length? That's how I know that it's fair. I have one whole rectangle that I partitioned into two smaller squares. But guess what? I can actually partition this same rectangle a different way. You wanna see? Okay, I'm gonna take my middle rubber band and I'm gonna put it equally. Now, look what I have here. I have one, two equal parts. I've made halves. One half, the second half. What? Now watch this, are you ready? Rotate. <gasps> is it still a rectangle? Yeah. And is it still partitioned in half? Yeah. So it doesn't matter which way my shape is facing, as long as the two smaller parts are the same size, as long as they're equal. You wanna see my favorite one? I can take my whole rectangle and I can partition it one other really cool way. I can do, hang on, my rubber band broke. I can put it at a diagonal, look at this. <gasps> what? Look at this. I've taken my whole rectangle and I've partitioned it into two smaller halves. I've made two triangles. Composing shapes is so cool. Now, I can make it with my geo board, but I can also draw it. I'm gonna draw a rectangle here. And we know that when we draw, we do our very best. They might not be exactly perfect, all right? So I have my rectangle, this is my hole. I'm going to partition it or separate it into two parts. Look what I did, ta-da, halves. So I have one half, two halves. Now I'm gonna color in one half of my shape. That means I'm gonna color in one of the two parts. Look what I've done here. You see how I've done this? I have one of two parts shaded in. So I've colored in half of my rectangle. Now, what you're gonna get to do today is kind of what I just did. You're gonna take squares and rectangles and different shapes and you're gonna partition them into halves. I want you to make sure though that while you're working that, you, that both halves are the same size. You think you can do that? I'm excited. Have fun.